So you know the song, Baby It's Cold Outside? You know, that song that caused a bunch of controversy last Christmas? Well, I must have been listening to an alternate cover version of it called, Hey bitch, it's freezing outside, why don't you drive 20 minutes to a state park and film a YouTube video? Because that's that's where we are right now. We're, we're at the state park filming the YouTube video. So originally, I wanted to do this video on the song Aegis, which I just so happen to have in my pocket, if I can get it out. The song Aegis Walmart version, but something in the back of my head told me that I'd already done a video on it. <laughs> yep. So, how stupid is this hood look? Let's take that off. So I had to come up with another idea because I'm not remaking the same video twice. Even though I have been known to do that before. And before you ask, yes, that is a birdhouse back there. Don't ask me why, it's just there. And on that note, without further ado and whatever other jazz you want to add into it, let's do some B-roll. I, I noticed there's one of you out there that's groaning. It's like, ah, Mr. Man, this stupid B-roll again. Yeah, stupid B-roll. cold outside so it is way way too cold out there to do anything this was a stupid idea but let me get my car started so i don't freeze half to death we're gonna get, I'm gonna get my keys out can't get my keys out keys so let's head back to the studio and finish this up wait i have a studio when did this happen i don't know Wow, that was freezing. I needed some coffee. D don't judge me. So right now you're probably very confused as to what this video is actually about. Listen, listen, I'm right there with you. I don't know either. But I was gonna talk about an interesting topic before I got off topic. Basically what I want to cover off here was knives that I find useless. And by useless, well, let, let me just show you a couple examples here. All right, and for starters, the paramilitary two. This knife, it's it's worthless. There's there's nothing good about this. I mean, you have an S30V blade, who uses S30V anymore? G10 handles that look, I mean, look, Digi Camo, that looks terrible. A compression lock, this, I don't like the compression lock. Okay, I'm, I'm joking with you. Let's bring in an actual example here. I know I just offended a bunch of Spyderco fanboys and now here comes the hate mail. <laughs> so as soon as I brought in a paramilitary too, everyone was like clicking off. They're like, I hate you, whatever. Because here's a couple actual examples. Now. Am I saying that these knives are totally worthless? No, but let's get into it here. So, is it that these knives are complete and utter garbage? No, they're not, but let's explain some stuff here. Okay, a karambit. Karambits are cool, they're cool looking, okay? But the reason why I say that this is useless is that I'm never gonna carry this thing. There's like no situation I'm really gonna ever carry this thing around in. I mean, it, it is it is cool looking, it is titanium, it is an S35 VN blade, showing my ignorance here. I think S35 VN, I can't remember. This is what happens when you don't get sleep. It it's uh, it's a, it's a steal, but anyway, it's it's a good it's a good knife. It's well built. You know, I don't have any issues with it. it it's pretty much worthless because I'm not going to carry it. It's not a actual usable knife. Another example. This guy, which I was super super excited to get, is the CRKT Persian. I actually pre-ordered this guy. Like the only knife that I pre-ordered. I don't know. I think the Blade HQ Quaken, the exclusive poker Quaken, the copper and carbon fiber, which is awesome. Too bad that they don't make those, but I think they're coming out with a mini of those. So keep your eye out for those. I'll probably pick up like 18 of them. Not just kidding. I might not get any because money and stuff but <clears throat> the CRKD Persian here cool looking knife but for me it's worthless because it does not have a pocket clip and because of my small well actually my big hands and this small little knife and the thumb stud barely protrudes at all actually it does not protrude it is pretty much impossible but barely barely can pop it open there that's like the first time I've ever been able to do it so to me the knife's pretty much worthless it's useless because I can't carry it another one and this guy's this is actually a cool knife but it's kind of worthless and that's the what's the name of this I can't I can't remember the brand Talon 
I think it's Talon. I can't remember. I'm Blade HQ. I bought it a while ago. It's only 20 bucks. Little Damascus cleaver. Awesome, cool little knife, but I can't really carry it and use it. I mean, if, first of all, A, it doesn't come with a sheath. And second of all, I mean, it, it's it's a little cleaver. I mean, it, this, if I could EDC this guy, that would be cool. I gotta make a little Kydex sheath for this guy, but as it stands right now, it's pretty much meh. I mean, it's, it's not really worth anything other than a little collection piece. Ew. Okay, didn't mean to throw it. And see, that's the thing though, these knives, they're fun to have in the collection, but as far as usability goes, they're kind of on the if scale. Another one that's on the big, big if usability scale is the Phantom Silver Skinwalker. And this is like my biggest example of uh, an if <laughs> if knife. I should make that my new uh, designation, the if scale. Comment below if you think I should have an if scale. I don't even know how I'd scale knives on that, but whatever. But the Phantom Silver Skinwalker, I mean, this, I, I can't, like, I mean, I can't see myself actually carrying this and whipping out in public. I mean, it'd be cool if I did, but at the same time, it's like, usability-wise, it's a little awkward. It, it, when there's such better knives, like, bringing it back in, you know, the paramilitary too. I mean, honestly, this is an awesome knife. You know, this is way more usable. It feels way better in the hand. It's just an all around better knife as far as usability goes. I mean, this guy, eh, I mean, you're liable to pull this out and get the SWAT team on you like in five seconds. Just saying. And now some knives, like the Voyagers are good, but I mean, I can't even open this on camera. When you get a five inch, five or five and a half inch, I can't even remember how big this one is, but when you get something this big, I mean, leave your firearm at home and just take this guy up there, you know? I mean, if that's your goal, heck yeah, dude, go go for it. But I mean, I'd only care this when I'm out hiking and I'm even leery, cause it's a little bit too big. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> Actually, no one ever said that to me. Sad. This is why I live in my basement. Body armor, look out. This thing you could literally fight cyborg ninjas with. I mean, it's it's epic. It's it's, it's two-handed. Look at look at dude. Two-handed. Okay. I mean, I could chop a tree down with this. Literally chop a tree down. Now, on the flip side of all this, a knife that I have mentioned is totally worthless before in the past, and now I love. Is the Bali song that did not work well, but whatever. I, I show up my 51s whenever I can because I mean these are like 51s are love. It's like the only thing I love in the world is the 51s. Bali songs to me they were extremely impractical before because I didn't see the practicality to them at all. Most of them don't come with pocket clips, but the 51 does. So I pretty much put the 51 in category all its own. Oh, I just pulled something in my foot. Ah. Oh, that hurt. Oh, I got a cramp in my foot. That hurt. See what I go through for you people? Ouch. Oh, that hurts. So the 51s are like an exception to that rule as far as like an impractical knife made practical. But th that, that's the exception. Mmm. Oh, that was a bad idea. I got like a ton of these line discs from Christmas. I still haven't finished them all. I love sugar. I don't know why I haven't gone through these yet. I ate them like candy, literally. Like I said, by saying that these knives are impractical, it's not that they're like unusable. I mean, for instance, you know, they still cut. Like the, the Skinwalker, well actually, it'll cut. See, I mean, it, it cuts. It's not that you can't use them, but I mean, why would you? Ah, hell, earth aware. You gave me an Earthaware bubble pack and that's just flat. Were you scared to fill it with air because like you take it out of the ozone? I don't know. In case you're wondering what's in the box. Galaxy S9. I mean, you can use these knives to open, open stuff up and they're usable. It's not that they're not. I mean, it's just kind of impractical to carry like all this stuff around with you. More cell stuff. Should I start a, uh, a tech channel? What the hell, Amazon? Really? Bro, really? Really? You're gonna send me a package like that? Mm. Ammo's on. Alpha glass. Because when you're a beta male, like me, alpha. Something alpha on you, at least. I'd be interested in hearing your opinions on knives that you own that are either useless, or useless in, in my definition, or like you don't carry, or just like don't see yourself using. Because like I said, it's not that these knives can't be used, but they're just kind of impractical to carry and for some reasons. Like, I mean, whether it's something as stupid as like no pocket clip on the Persian. I mean, there's a myriad of reasons, you know, you might just find it impractical to use because of steel. Let's say, and here comes my steel ignorance shining through, but like D2 is not as rust resistant as like S30V. You know, if you live in an area that's more highly corrosive, more humid, you might not want a D2 knife. So if it's something like that, something as simple as that, where you just find it unusable and impractical, I mean, that, that still classifies in my opinion. I mean, because let's face it, we're kind of with the rules on the fly here. We're just flying by the seat of our pants here, people. I, I, we don't have any set rules. We're, 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 we're writing the playbook as we go along, so. But yeah, any input, I like input, I love input. You know, leave more comments. I love reading comments. Should I, uh, should I do a viewer's comment reading thing? Like everyone does, where like they read viewers' comments. I mean, all I'll have is like, is this guy on crack? Oh, here's a power bank, off topic, but 
everyone's always like, is this guy on crack? What's that white stuff on your fingers? It would be hilarious actually because half of the comments would be, is this guy on crack? So I'd have to devote an entire video called, is this guy on crack? And, and just a little, little bit of a reminder for you people who, who haven't seen my last video, I got an EDC challenge going on, okay? I'll link the video down below, but it's just a hashtag thing on Instagram, so you get to enter and you might get featured on my channel. Well, actually you probably will because so far I only have one entry. So tis tis people, come on, snap to it. I, I wanna see those EDC pictures. Bye, until next time you know what to do, subscribe and do all the whole jazz and stuff and push a little bell because you won't see my face unless you do. I mean, that would be a positive not to see it, but you know, some people like it.